and welcome to another video with Back to the Drawing Board. My name is Hrithika and this is the second video of the LEGO Mindstorms tutorial series. In this video, we'll be talking mostly about um, the different ways that you can move your robot. So let's just get started. Um, so all of the action blocks will be in this green tab, labeled Action. Um, and these will be the blocks that you can use to move your robot around or um, make it do different actions. So these first four blocks, these will show you, these will make the robot um, do an action, like moving a motor. And these three other ones, these are display, sound, and brick status light. So you can make it light up or make a noise and um, actions like those. So these can be used for conveying information or um, signaling something if you uh, sense something, which we can talk about sensors later. Anyway, so the first four blocks, these are to change uh, change how the motors are acting. So this first one is media motor, and these three remaining ones work with large motors. So the first block we're going to be looking at today is the move steering block. So move steering and uh, move tank both can control both wheels at the same time while these first two medium motor and large motor control one at the same time. So in LEGO Mindstorms, each block um, that you can use will have several options in it. So this first block, which says on for rotations, that's the um, generic setting it will be set on. Um, this is how the, um, what kind of measurement you'll be using for um, inputting how long the motor will be running for. So you have options are off and on. So off, it will be stopped. On, it will continue forever. Um, usually you have to give it a setting also. Um, and then you can say on for seconds. So if you give it five seconds, it'll run for that amount of time. There's on for degrees. Um, knowing that a circle has 360 degrees, that means that one full wheel turn will be 360 degrees. And so you can say in the number of degrees, and this is a bit more exact in seconds. And you can also say on for rotations, which, um, so one rotation is equal to 360 degrees. And so, so I usually say on for degrees, um, just as it's more accurate and it's easier to um, calculate that way when you're using port view. Um, and the next few ones, so, in the move steering, you can control the direction that the wheels are moving in using this arrow. So when you're going zero, so you're just going forward. You can also move it all the way to the right or all the way to the left. If you do negative 100 or 100, that would be turning in a circle. So it would be in place turning in a circle. You can also choose um, anywhere in between if you do um, from negative around here, negative 45, then I'll just go to the left at varying angles. So we're gonna set this at zero and that'll be going forward. And you can also change the speed at which it goes at. 50 degrees is where it's usually set at. Um, you're normally between about 70 and 100 degrees, uh, 70 uh, speed, it doesn't um, change too much. And um, but you can also make it slower. These are usually used um, for if you are trying to sense something, you might need to go slower, or if you are carrying something. And you can also um, you can also go zero is um, stopped, and then you can also go negative from there. And negative would be going backwards. You can see the arrow turns backwards. Next, there is um, the degrees so this can also say um, how much it moves um, so while this gives the direction and this gives the speed this gives how far the robot moves um, and then another thing you might want to notice is where it says B plus C so this means ports B and C so like we talked in the first video um, ports A, B, C, and D are the motor ports, while 1, 2, 3, and 4 are the sensor ports. So this just tells you that um, the motors are plugged into B and C, um, so that it will know that the right motor is B and the left motor is C. 
So next, um, this will be especially important for move tank, which is our next block. So this is very similar, right? We have um, the same move, uh, the varying degrees. And then the main difference between move steering and move tank is that move tank, you can control each of the wheels separately. So while in move steering, we were giving it a direction for it to move in, in move tank, you can choose um, to make one, one of the wheels zero and one of them 50. So one will stay put and the other one will move forward. And then again, you can choose the distance that it will move for. In this, where we have B and C, the first one would be B and the next motor will be C. Um, you can change this in the, um, in the robot, but um, be sure to change it in your coding as well. So the important idea for choosing how the robot, robot will move is if you have both at 50, these, this means that it's going at the same speed, and so both will move forward. You can also put both at negative 50, and both will be moving backwards. However, you can make one slower, and this means it will turn in that direction. So if you make one of them at 25 rather than 50, it will veer to the right because the left wheel is moving faster than the right wheel, and so it's turning to the right. If you do the other way, it does the same thing. You can also turn in spot by doing negative 50, and um, this would make it turn all the way to the right, while if you do the opposite, it would do to the left. The next block we're going to look at is the large motor block. So this is similar um, to the previous blocks, except um, it doesn't have a direction. It's um, like the uh, move tank block with just one motor. Um, you can see here it's um, generically put into um, block D on um, port D. And this can be used if you're using a motor for an arm attachment. Um, Generally, for smaller attachments, um, you can use uh, the medium motor for um, little claws or a scoop, anything like that. Um, so this one is put into port A, but you can also change that. Um, and these have similar controls. So now we're going to talk briefly about the remaining three blocks. So in this display block, you can see, um, you can choose a file, you can choose text, um, shapes, you can input an image, or you can just reset it. Um, and then you can also um, do several other settings, and um, such as where on the screen you would like it to show, um, seeing the X is the horizontal axis and the Y is the vertical axis. You can also choose from up here where the ports are for the remaining blocks. It says neutral, um, which means there's nothing on the screen. Um, we can also include project image, um, we can import images, it can, um, different things like expressions, um, or wired, you can use with the more advanced blocks, it, it can give like conditions. With the sound block, you can play a file, so you can stop it, or you can put in a file through here, it gives some preset ones, just like the display does, but you can also upload your own. And then you can also play a tone or a note. So for musicians, you may know, um, you can make, like, make it play a song. Um, using the notes, it'll give you um, on the piano. And then you can also control the volume and then how long it will run. So once it finishes, will it stop or um, will it play once? or a roller repeat. Finally, with the brick status light, you can choose to make it on or off and then choose which color you would like it to be. And so you can notice this one doesn't have a file um, since you can just make it with different colors. And you can also use these arrows to um, control how long it is. Um, another thing, another trick that comes in handy is if you take these blocks, you can hover over them and or draw a box over them and control it. 
and drag it here, then you can take this, a thread will appear, and you can drag the code here. Um, and this just makes it so that you don't have to um, be scrolling your screen every time um, to see the whole code. So the final thing we will be talking about today is a little bit of how to upload um, your uh, code once you create it. So here you can see available bricks. So I don't have any bricks connected right now, um, but if I did have an ED3 that it was connected either through Bluetooth or through a wire, um, you connect it through here and you can refresh it if nothing shows up and it will tell you how it's connected through. You can also go through port view through here. So if you are connected to one and have selected that one, it will show you here. So this can help you if you want to test out um, how far something's going. Um, like we talked about a little bit, how you can do it on the robot. You can also see it through here. And then you can also get some information about the brick. So over here you have, this is the upload button. So once it's connected, then you can click it and a little tune should show up or a little tune you should hear it. And then the next you have the play button. And um, these two, you can, um, if it's with Bluetooth, you can just play it through here or you can go and select the file um, on the um, robot on the brick and play it through there. Yeah, I hope you learned something today and I hope you come back and watch the next video with us and thank you so much for watching.